uh, raise your hand. All right, Gregory Hall, go ahead. Jeremiah, what do you attest the slow start on defense to in the first half? Max said the Virginia Tech just had a bunch of different motions and things that put you guys in your heels. Just what did you see and what can you attest that first half performance to? Um, I think we were ready for the motions. That's something we harped on all week in practice. But out of the motions and out of the sets they ran out of the motions, they changed a lot of things up, hit a lot of things that they never really uh, ran before. Um, and they, then sometimes they did run some things that they always ran, but they good, did a good job job of uh, disguising the um, formation. Andrew Jones, go ahead. Hey, Jeremiah, Max said on Monday in the press conference that the last two years, Tech was, was more physical than you guys and tougher than you guys in the last two meetings. In the first half, would you say that was kind of the case? You guys were just kind of getting beat a little bit up front, and it took a while to adjust to that? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. They were definitely more physical than us in the first half. And uh, I think when we came in during halftime, we made adjustments. I think we settled down and got more comfortable, and we were able to play faster. Uh, Greg Barnes. Hey, Jeremiah. Uh, Max said that you addressed the team after the game. I was just curious your opinion on the team morale. Uh, kind of if the guys were shook a little bit after this, and what was your message from um, I just told them, don't let this define us for the rest of the year. I mean, uh, it's better for this to happen, I believe, in the early, early in the year than later on in the year. In the year. So um, I just told everybody to take, take, a, take a look in the mirror. Like, what are you doing like during the week? How much are you doing? Is it enough? If it, is it not enough? Is it, are, you, are you grabbing a peop, people alongside inside you in the position groups? Um, are you bringing them in the film room with you? Are you bringing them to stretch or get more lifts in, in the weight room? Um, that's pretty much what I told them. I just I just told everybody, like, maybe we just didn't do enough this week. Um, I felt like we prepared really well. But um, uh, to lose like this, I feel like everybody should look themselves in the mirror and give that – give an extra percent this upcoming week. C.L. Brown? Yes, uh, Jeremiah, just kind of looking at the, the silver lining, one thing that Coach Brown had harped on in a – preseason was uh causing tur turnovers and getting takeaways uh, how much of a boost did you feel like uh during the course of the game when you guys were able to get that fumble and get that uh that interception you know what did that do for the defensive uh, psyche uh, it definitely boosted uh the defensive morale I think you saw that um I mean we played really good in the second half especially when we got up uh Got the uh, got the turnover, and I mean that just helps our offense get in better position. And I think that's something we just harped on all fall camp and all in spring. It's just causing turnovers, uh, getting tipped balls, getting the ball loose, punching at the ball. So um, it's great that we got um, two turnovers, and I hope we can carry that on for the, for the rest of the year. Alyssa Ray. Last season, after losses, you guys responded by coming out swinging the next week. What's your mentality after this one, and kind of? Putting it in the rear view and moving on to next week. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you should just open all the guys' eyes. Um, uh, I know personally for myself and just speaking with the team, I, I don't really listen to the, any of the outside noise, the rankings, the statistics or anything. So um, for me, it's just it's, it's just driving and get better each week. Um, I think this can just make us closer as a football team. I think we're already really, really close as a football team, but a hard loss like this early in the season and – I think that just brings the team closer together, gets the position groups closer together, and I think it's going to practice that much more competitive, make the scout teams even more that competitive. So I think this can this can be somewhat good for us. Okay, uh, Mark Berman, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to ask you about uh, number five, the running back Blackshear was able to uh, – uh, get out there and, and catch the passes tonight. Uh, and it, was there anything the tech was doing to, to, to uh, you know, enable that to, uh, to, to happen? Or was that uh, something that uh, you guys were not prepared for? Or? I think I just did a really good job with the motioning and uh, hiding the formations. And um, sometimes when they're motioning a the guy, uh, they're dragging, they're really splitting half of the defense apart. So really they have one side's uh, independent from the other. So knowing when to follow the jet motion and when to not go with it, you really got to be keyed in on the back. So, um, yeah, that definitely gave us some problems tonight. All right, Jeremiah, that's the last one we have for you. Thank you. Yep, you have a good one.
All right, Sam. Um, we will begin with Noah Monroe. Go ahead, Noah. Hey, Sam. Noah Monroe from the Daily Tar Heel. Obviously, losing isn't how you want to start the season, but getting that first lo loss out of the way, how can that be beneficial to the rest of the season? Yeah, I mean, I think as a team, we just can't let this game define us. Uh, you know, we, we know this team is capable of, and we didn't show that tonight, but you know, I mean, we have two options as a team. We can either let this let this one game affect us the rest of the season, or we can just forget about it. There's nothing we can do about it now. We can just keep getting better. That's what that's just what we gotta do as a team. Thank you. CL Brown, go ahead. Sam, how how difficult was it to get into a rhythm um, in the first half because you guys only had the ball for for nine minutes? Virginia Tech did a good job of just controlling the the ball. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was pretty difficult just from, from the whole offense as a whole. I mean, it was just difficult to get into a rhythm, like you said. Uh, you know, I mean, I think our defense played well enough for us to win the football game. I mean, we, we had a chance to win, and, you know, we just didn't make enough plays. But, no, I mean, we certainly didn't get into a rhythm like we're used to on the offensive side of the ball. So, we just got to watch the tape, uh, you know, self-evaluate and start with me. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't play good enough for our team to win tonight, so – you know, we just got to get back, get back to the film room and just get better. Andrew Jones? Sam, in, in what way do you think that you personally struggled tonight? Yeah, you know, I, I just think at times I was just – I was getting frustrated and I was just trying to do too much. Um, you know, I mean, they are doing a good job on defense. Um, you know, we, we just made a lot of mistakes, and I just feel like I just tried to do too much at times. Um, you know, I was pressing a little bit just – just trying to just trying to make a play, um, you know, and, and, and I ended up putting my team in in a bad position tonight. Thank you, uh, Lucas. To me, Sam. Uh, what was your assessment of the chemistry with your offense tonight? I mean, did you think you were clicking with your receivers, or are there still kinks to work out? Yeah, I mean, we we certainly um, we just didn't put on the type of performance that I know we're capable of putting on. You know, I've seen this team work. Um, the whole off season, fall camp, everything. I know we're better than the performance we put out there on the field tonight. So, you know, like I said, we just got to rally together. I mean, we can't let this one game define us. If anything, you know, we, at this point, we can just relax, uh, not worry about the pressure and stuff like that. You know, we can go back and everyone just relock in on their job and everyone just, just get ready to go for next week. Alyssa Ray. You guys put up 56 points on this defense last year. I know obviously lots of weapons missing on your end, but on, defensively for them, how much improvement have you seen out of these guys? I mean, Virginia Tech looked like a, a whole different team on defense. Yeah, you know, I thought they did a good job. Um, it's probably our worst offense, offensive performance since I've been here. Um, so, you know, credit to those guys. They, they played hard. Um, you know, they played harder than us. Um, and, and, they, and they really dominated us all night long. So we just got to get better. Adam Smith. Sam, there at the end, uh, the interception that ended it, um, the guy's got you, he's 12's got you, he's slinging you around. Did you even see uh, the dude that picked the ball off? I'm, I'm sure you're probably trying to throw it away. Just what was happening? And did you even see, uh, I think it was 25 that got it? Yeah, you know, in that scenario, um, you know, I'm always thinking, don't take a sack, don't take a sack. Um, so, I, I was just trying to throw the ball away, and you know the guy had spun me around, and it caused a bad throw. Um, you know I was trying to put the ball way out of bounds, um, but you know, in 25 made a good play. Uh, you know he's at the right place at the right time, and, and he made a good play uh, to seal the game. And you know, in those type of scenarios, I just got to be better for my team. Um, you know, those those are the times where I should be at my best, and I wasn't at my best tonight, so I just got to get better. Greg Barnes. Hey, Sam, uh, this team had a lot of hype and expectation this entire offseason. Uh, do, do you think that finally caught up with the team in terms of some added pressure tonight at all? Um, you know, I, I really don't think so. I just think we we just we just got beat. Uh, I think that's what it is. You know, really, I, I really don't think the pressure really bothers very many people in our locker room and in our program. You know, we know we know that if we don't put the right preparation in, you know, we, we can lose on any given week. Um, you know, and I feel like we had a good a good week of practice. We just weren't the better team tonight. Um, so we, we just got to bring in every single week. And, and we know that we're not just going to roll out there and just 
and beat people based off talent. You know, we actually got to go out there and execute every single play, and, and, that, and that's how we're going to win football games. And we didn't do a good job of that tonight. Thanks. Okay, last question tonight will uh, come from Mark Furman. Uh, yeah, Sam, uh, you, you talked at the AC Media Day over the summer about wanting to kind of develop into a, uh, a championship level team this year. What did this game tell you about kind of what more needs to be done to develop into that championship level team? Yeah, I mean, I just think we just got to go back and work. Uh, you know, as, as a team, we we want to let this one game define our season. Uh, you know, it, it's over with. There's nothing we can do about it now. Uh, you know, it sucks, but. You know, we just got to keep getting better and just take it one week at a time. Um, that's just kind of the mentality for our team. And like I said, I mean, we, we won't let this this game define us. Uh, you know, I, I got to get better personally. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of things I could have done better in tonight's game. Um, and I'm going to get better. Um, my team deserves better from me, and I'm going to give that to them. So, you know, that's just kind of our mindset moving forward.